here's the thing you need never forget. You need never forget. We can reject God's gift of faith. We can reject God's gift of faith. You do understand God is constantly going around giving out healing faith. Every time somebody gets sick, if he decides it, then he will hand out healing faith. But you know what? We can reject that. We can turn our backs on it. That's what happened to me the first 20 years of my ministry. God was giving me healing faith. He would say, I would literally hear him say in my head, Randy, pray for this kid's healing. Pray for this woman's healing. And I wouldn't do it because why? I was Baptist and Baptists don't pray for healing. And so I was rejecting the faith, the healing faith that God offered me. It reminds me of the tragedy in Matthew 13, 58. It said Jesus did only a few miracles there because they had no faith. Now, go back to Francis. Say God walked up to her and said, Francis, I do want to heal you. And he offered her healing faith. If she's like, nah, I'm Baptist, nah, I'm Methodist, nah, I'm Episcopalian, nah. I don't believe in that. People think I'm weird if I believe that God was going to heal me. And so say she rejected it, then guess what? She would die earlier than she needed to. And she would suffer. And so here's my question for you. Are you rejecting God's healing faith? Are you rejecting it? And here's the thing. Are people suffering needlessly because of it? 